Hello and welcome. This is the most exciting video there's been, oh, maybe forever when I think about it, but well, one of the most exciting ones forever, but the most exciting for ages. This is a Heimer B514 from 2006, and this is the vehicle I'm going to be using. That's what makes it so exciting. So let's have a look inside. Right, first thing, two steps up and security door and inside there is a double floor and anyway, I'm going to close the door because it's really cold outside and this is what it looks like before I've done anything to sort of mess it up right so I left the bed down so you can see what the bed looks like in this position and so we've got the, this double bed up front 150 centimeters uh, in width, there's a double bed at the back that's also uh, it's 140 centimeters. It's got this enormous table here, which for me was utterly essential because I needed uh, somewhere to work, and uh, so I, I, I'm, I tend to have all sorts of stuff. So I make a bit of a mess when I'm uh, I'm working. But anyway, there's plenty of space on that table for for all sorts of, of, of mess even bigger than the table i've got at present a lot of light i feel in this vehicle and uh, i could even turn the light the uh, go up here turn on the 12 volts for example oh, sorry wrong one <laughs> wrong one <laughs> automatically went there and uh, so uh there we go lights are on the lights are they're not leds but um the battery power in here is so strong that um i don't think it's going to make a difference uh there will be my battery 250 ampere hours but also added to that there is the existing 160 watts of solar plus my own 200 that gives 360 watts of solar so from that point of view it is really uh very very uh very good now there's one or two little problems they're really small things this fridge doesn't close the reason it doesn't close is because this thing here has broken and also we've got the window here as well the the blinds broke and the reason the blind broke like this this uh, has come away this string has come away the reason the string came away it was because it was kept up and hot air was able to build up behind it which uh, um, made the plastic um, dry out and then crack and, and then then break so that's a little thing I need to point out and we put I've done a video on this very subject don't leave the blinds up move them down allow allow the window to breathe if you like so in in hot weather in cold weather obviously like it's freezing minus five today so it doesn't really make so much difference three burners and really this looks absolutely outstanding for its age i mean what what a difference from mine <laughs> and uh, it looks as i can tell it's been used of course we, you know, that's not it's, it has been used but uh, it's really in excellent condition the former owner uh, the, uh, well, there was a couple, a doctor, who, uh, the uh, gentleman, uh, he died. And so his widow actually sold it. She didn't feel as though she wanted to, uh, to drive it uh, uh, by herself. So that's why she got, she got, she got rid of it. But, but they've kept it in absolutely outstanding uh, condition, in my opinion. Extractor fan here. Um, th these uh, are lots of space above here. I, I think as well. I mean, for me, that's a, um, that's that's brilliant. Can't quite see behind this, but it look it looks quite good. Um, drawers down here, and one thing I found quite curious. Now oh, it's got central locking. So my hands are cold. And here you've got the central locking. And these bins, which I've talked, oh, they were introduced for the twenty. What was that? The 2019 season, 2020 season they were introduced for. I've said that another. But look, they were introduced for the 2006 season. Uh, I won't be keeping rubbish uh, or throwing rubbish into them. I'll probably keep my supplements or something like that in there. And uh, right. Now, on the, on the double floor I mentioned earlier, so we've got down here, we've got the waste tank and it's forward position in the double floor. We've got the 
the, the um, cleaner water tank. The thing about uh, this double floor, there's no storage from the inside into the double floor, but there is from the outside, which I'll show when I get to it. There's a uh, television here, which will be coming out. I think, oh, let's, let's move this thing up. There we go. There's the television. Well, uh, I don't use it. This television, I can see the different in technology. This will date to 2006. Incidentally, that's the year last time I bought a television. And, uh, no, it was bought, bought in 2005, I think it was. But anyway, so, and there's a thing down here to close it. Oh, I've got to get night. I think, oh, it might be a job for two hands. And storage up here as well. Now, uh, come on to the bed. Uh, you may have heard me say in the past, I don't like beds over here, and really, I, I really don't want them um, to use the bed. I want to two beds, I only need one. And here, what we're thinking of doing is this. You've got the mattress, see how thick the mattress is. And instead of this, you can go to Ikea and you can get these uh, sort of cloth-like um, boxes. And that would be fantastic for storage. And um, now I, I could, oh, a huge amount of clothes can go in there. Um, I don't know precisely where I would keep the, the, the ladder. I think the ladder will have to go in the back somewhere into the, uh, into the garage. But uh, that would uh, take the mattress out and in its place put the... Uh, clothing and what have you and i've got this huge amount of storage i know i often say i'd like to have storage all the way around because i do like the view when you've got a and uh but anyway that it's the way it is and i didn't buy it from you and i wouldn't have got it from you with a bed down had i had uh, had the decision but 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 this a storage idea which i'd never thought of and it was suggested to me I think that's a great idea. Indeed, Heimer had their own system. Um, it's apparently, and um, I've been unable to actually, I've heard about it, but um, I haven't actually seen it. This has an Arctic pack, and it has a number of other. The Arctic pack includes heating down here, uh, which you'll see that from the outside, which is heating forward uh, position heating, back background heating, which also comes with this as an extra, this uh, wonderful large skylight here. And the skylight at the back was uh, standard. Um, all right, here we've got this really wonderfully large uh, wardrobe. That's brilliant. And below this, down here, in fact, I'll open it up for you. We've got the uh, boiler. So if there's one little thing I don't really like, it's this down here. And I feel it. And again, the boiler has to go somewhere, but that really has to stay like that. You can't start putting other things in there, using it for storage or anything like that. So that has to stay as it is, which is a bit of a pity. Uh, anyway, All right, let's come into the washroom. And now here, I want to actually point out yet another thing. It's how well they've actually kept it. And I, I don't know how they've managed to do it. It's this color here. Look how it, white. It looks as though it's just come out of the, the box now and not came out of a box uh, 17 years ago. It looks absolutely outstanding. I hope I can maintain the color like this. Here we can see the colors faded a bit as well. But another place actually is the door as well, whereas the front door has sort of uh, lost its color a little bit. It is, um, it's still in remarkable condition. Look how much space there is in here as well. Look at all this space around me. Now this is one of these uh, things that comes a uh, sliding door. This thing here slides in and out like this. Let's see if I can do it with one hand. This comes out. Oh, I try, I try. I'm trying, I'm trying. I am trying. Oh, I can't do it. All right, I've put my camera there and you can't see what's happening. And there, that comes out like that. And that reveals this. Now, I had a vehicle with exactly the same system in and I didn't actually move this backwards and forwards. 
because I do like to see myself when I'm, I shave myself in the shower or something like this. Uh, I don't tend to make a mess in, in the shower. And in here, we've got all of this space as well for, you know, shampoos and things. So, I mean, that's fantastic, wonderful. And here, uh, towels can be hung up there. Oh, brilliant. Anyway, so notice the colour again. I'm just going to show you the colour on the door as well. So here, this, okay, it's faded a bit, but not as you'd expect for all of this time. Oh, and it's got a mosquito screen. Hey, they're just going to open this. I haven't even, even checked this one. Just open this up. This is the first time I've seen this. Wow! Oh, brilliant! I mean, they, they had these mosquito screens in at the time. They were awful. And uh, it, it was like a, it, like a jigsaw puzzle putting the thing together. Oh, brilliant. It's just I keep finding things, more and more great things in here. Right, bed at the back. And... Uh, Okay, I don't like I don't like these ledges, right? But I knew there was a ledge here. But when when I I, I knew about the vehicle, I thought, oh well, that the B five one four had a ledge at both ends, uh, but it doesn't. It only has at one end because down here we've got the storage. Look at that. Oh, not great. And skylights. I'll be using that to get onto the roof. If, if two bits of um, wood here, I think, well, what's that used for? This thing here. Is goes there to stop your feet banging the um, the the window. If you, I can't really see the point of that at all. And this thing here fits here to stop you falling out of bed, which I think is daft to say the least. Uh, <laughs> maybe it's meant for when children are in it. These pockets were used by Heimer in the the mid to late noughties, maybe even later. Uh, in my other vehicle, the Heimer van, I had uh, three pockets in there as well. Um, but great, great back uh, rear, rear end here. Three, sorry, two steps up. There's a bit of storage in this step here. Let's go out. LED here. Um, the, I won't be changing the LED. And um, I, you know, I had a look to see if I can change the, my own fridge in here. The current fridge, sorry, but I think it's going to be too much work, which is a pity, really. But um, anyway, uh, I think I'll leave the uh, the non-LED, the yellow lights in here, and uh, let's have a look on the outside. There's even more exciting stuff on the outside of the vehicle. Right, uh, so. The garage. I'll take you around the. So our reversing camera. I mean, I've got. I've got. I've got two reversing cameras in Poland. I've got. Uh, oh, is that? Is that visible? Look at the size of this garage. Isn't it brilliant? And it's got some extra stuff here. I haven't even gone through the extra stuff yet. But I think they're blinds and uh, storage, so the oils and the other stuff you'd be carrying around with you. And under here as well, got the spare wheels there. It's, it's relatively easy to get to, but this garage, it's enormous. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, so, cassette. And here, we've got this is the background heating for the front uh, so um, if you uh, the idea of something like this when it's very very cold so it's an additional um, part of the arctic packet there's also uh, electric heating electric as well as gas heating in this vehicle okay fully integrated and Great, anyway, I'm going to do some more videos on it. I wanted to show you this one. I'm quite excited about this. Uh, I've got the awning as well, <laughs> as you'd expect. But uh, great, thanks very much for watching. Hope you found it interesting. And all the best from me in Germany. There'll be lots of videos in this, as there's been lots of videos with my current vehicle. 
as well, which is currently standing right next to it. Thanks for watching.